Hey everyone, Tiffany here. Welcome back to another video or if you're new here, then welcome. Today we're talking about denim and we're gonna try on different brands. We have everything from Zara to Everlane to some Aritzia, Denim Forum, Citizen, as well as Reformation. So let's dive in. We'll start off with the most affordable price point and then move into the slightly higher ones. These are from Zara and they seem to be quite popular. They're the high rise straight and I picked them up in two different washes to try. First off, I do like the cut of these. They are a wide leg pair of denim. They're relaxed around the hips and just shy of being fitted and continue straight down. I personally prefer a zip front closure, so points for that. And overall, a fairly decent pair for the price. The purpose of this video is also to pick out some denim that we can wear into the office. I don't know about you guys, but looking at my closet right now, majority of them have rips in them, which we're taking a break from and generally speaking, not office appropriate, but of course that also depends on where you work. What I do love though is a raw hem and in my opinion, we can get away with. Right now I am on the hunt for a pair of high-waisted black denim that is straight leg. I'm also looking for a pair of blue denim that's sort of in that mid-tone range. That's a little bit wider, it's slightly baggier, but not too baggy, which I think the Zara ones are actually really similar to the fit that I'm looking for, but the quality of them is a little questionable. They're also a little scratchy when I put them on, so they're not the most comfortable. For the price, I mean, they're not bad. The next two styles are from Abercrombie and Fitch. I've shown and worn these in past videos, but I don't think I've actually done a try-on for you, so we're gonna do that today. I have two styles, one in the 90s straight leg, and I have them in both the curvy and the regular. I can fit into both of these just fine. The curve love is slightly better with a little more room for me in the hip region, so I appreciate the different fits they offer. But there have been some inconsistencies with their sizing. Sometimes the exact style, size, and wash can fit differently, so I don't love that, but for the price, it's worth checking out. Material-wise, similar to Zara denim, they have a slightly stiff feeling when you first put them on, especially the 90 style. The ankle straight crop have a slight stretch to them, so they're a little more comfortable, and this accru color has been so versatile in my wardrobe. I would highly recommend you check this pair out. I purchased mine a while ago, but I believe they restocked these, so I'll link them below. I just hope they're the same quality as the ones that I have. But definitely let me know if you try any of these or have any of the denim that I'm going to show you today and what you guys think. Okay, Everlane. They have a selection of original styles as well as curvy versions for their best sellers. Let's start with the original way high jeans. I ordered these in a 23 long, but I have a feeling these are a 23 regular. We'll get back into the whole sizing thing in a bit, but length aside, these were the ones that match the wide leg type of jean I was looking for, although I would have wanted them to be slightly longer to create a nicer stack at the ankles, especially when I'm wearing sneakers. I do like the mid-tone wash of these. There isn't a ton of fading or whiskering at the hips, which is something I look for in denim. They're a little big at the waist, which I would have taken in if I had kept these. The one thing I didn't love was this massive Everlane logo slash tag at the back. It sort of sticks out and the branding is just a little loud for me. I did also order them in a crop length. I think they look a little more flattering as a full length denim. And you'll see in a second why I think the blue pair was actually a regular length and not long. These are the same way high style in the curvy version and I did go up to a size 24 based on their website and they ran really large on me. Maybe they would have fit better if I actually got the right size, but these are them. They definitely do have a curve to them in the hips to allow for more room. So for curvy girls, I think these are worth trying out. The other popular style they have is the original cheeky jeans. Again, I ordered these in both the original version in a size 23 as well as the curvy in a size 24. The waist on these fit larger compared to the way high in general. They have a much more straight and maybe even slightly tapered leg. I don't have that much to say about these because I'm positive one of these had the wrong size label and I find it hard to believe that this was intended to be a 23 so it wouldn't be fair for me to fully judge the fit of these based off of what I received. I found that their size guide wasn't 
that helpful. I went with the sizes that they recommended on their size chart based on my dimensions as well as the, the garment dimensions and they were just sort of everywhere. So I do want to give it another shot at some point but just so you guys know maybe stick to your, your true to size. So that was my little experience with them. If you decide to give them a try I'd say maybe stick to the way high style in a full length. I'll quickly go over the Levi's wedgie for you guys. A lot of you probably already have these. I'd say this is a slim, straight, no stretch button fly closure. There is a waist gap for me, but I do really like how they fit down the leg. They're not too skinny, but also not too wide. Okay, next we have some Aritzia denim forum. These are the Jonies, and I'm not even going to pretend like I can button these up. These are a size 23 and there is a visible waist gap and the hips are probably two sizes too small for me. So I think these could work if you don't have a small waist to larger hip ratio. They are non-stretch and wash-wise, Aritzia does have a decent selection. The other pair Aritzia has that is quite popular is the Arlo. I have these in the stay black wash, which I assume means it'll stay black and not fade over time, which is something I'm currently looking for. Can't confirm that since I didn't keep these and I don't own anything in their denim material but it feels nice. It has a little bit of stretch. I can actually fit into these unlike the other ones but they are still a little tight for me around the hips and I believe they call this a high rise. It's more of a mid rise on me. Moving on to what I consider in the mid-tier range for denim. Out of everything I tried in this video, Reformation did come out on top. I'll start with my favorite pair in the Cynthia style. These are a true straight leg crop denim in a washed black color. I believe it's called Seattle. Everything will be linked in the description below. They have a button fly closure fitted at the waist. Hips were a tad tight to begin with, but after a couple of wears, it loosened just enough. Unlike the Goldie Riley's, which a lot of you also love, I found that over time the crotch and waist area started to stretch out a fair bit. Did this happen to you girls as well? I don't know if I'm the only one where this has happened. Anyway, they seem to hold its shape and stretch out where it needed to, so this would be a pair that I'd recommend. They also have a really chic pair in this silvery foil type material. I'm definitely eyeing these, but I feel like the silver foil pant has been everywhere and I'm kind of over them, but I do like this version because they are technically a denim and maybe more wearable than a full reflective pair. I'm undecided at this point. What do we think? Next up are the Lisa or Liza jean. This style does fit smaller in the waist compared to the Cynthia. I did have to size up to a 24 which fit well around the hips with just a bit of waist gap. They're a little more narrow on the leg. I'd consider these a slim straight leg and they're in a black wash and definitely office appropriate. I'm still debating whether to keep these although they are a black wash. I'm not sure it's one that will stay black over time. They do look and feel similar to the stay black pair from Aritzia Denim Forum. In addition, alterations would be required at the waist and length. I think if you have a more slender shape, then these would be perfect for you in your regular size. The other style that I really, really like is the Welder. I've since ordered different variations of these in different lengths and washes to compare, but I wanted to show you here first. Waist fits, hips fit similar to the Cynthia's, maybe with a tad more room. These are in the regular length, so they're a bit long on me, but I do believe they come in a cropped length as well. These are wide, but also not too wide and baggy, especially if you have a smaller frame. These would look good with sneakers, ballet flats, chunky sandals during the summer, maybe with a cropped cardigan or a basic tee on top. Definitely a style to add to your wardrobe if you don't already own a pair. I'll group similar fitting jeans together at the end of the video so you can see them side by side for comparison. I have really great first impressions with the Reformation denim. Time will tell after a few wears, but I'm happy I gave them a try. The one thing they can possibly improve on, in my opinion, are the washes they offer. Whether it's a light, mid, or dark wash, I prefer muted colors, nothing too bright or vibrant, almost with a gray undertone or diffuse color without very distinct fading in the thigh or whiskering. 
these are the Jolene Straight by Citizen. Citizen does the best plush black denim I've ever tried. I have skinnies from years ago and they're still true to color and haven't faded at all. I tried these in a 23 and they are a mid slash high rise. Had really high hopes, but on my legs, they fit a little slimmer than I'd want. You can see the bunching around the knees, which I don't love. I have tried these in a 24 and it did resolve the knee bunching issue, but of course there is a waist gap and I'd have to get that altered. I think these would work if you generally have slightly more slender legs or less of a hip to waist ratio for that sleek straight look but if you have curves you'll likely want to size up and take in the waist definitely worth checking out the fit will vary based on your body type i will say i think these would be the perfect trouser dress pant alternative for casual office looks I also want to mention that I tried on a pair of page denim. They were okay. I thought they were going to be the perfect black straight leg jean, but the material was really thin and they also weren't as high rise as I wanted. So I did send those back really quickly and didn't get a chance to actually film them for you. Let me know if there are any other denim brands you want me to cover. I haven't tried Redone yet. Totem and Theory might also have some denim as well. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have a favorite pair of denim, let me know where they're from. I do have another denim video with a lot of a goldie jeans, so make sure you check that video out if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.